As we've already seen in the What's New section, there are different ways to perform energy analysis on a building. Let's have a quick recap. From your common folder, open the file Basic Office Building. While opening this file, you may get a dialog box similar to this one. Revit could not find or read eight reference files. What do you want to do? I know these are linked DWG files, but Revit's got a trick up its sleeve. If it can't find the DWGs, it won't not display them. It will just display them as they were when the project was last saved. Of course, it's always a good idea to resolve errors like this. So I could open and manage links to correct the problem or ignore and continue opening the project. Revit also gives me the ability to show details to find out where those files were. And if I do go to open manage links to correct the problem, and look at CAD formats. Here we can find that the drawings that have not been found and their saved path. Selecting each file in turn, we can reload from and then browse to an appropriate folder until we find the drawings in question and click on open. The unfortunate side of this is that you have to do this for each DWG, but once it's found the path for one, it's a fairly easy process. as long, of course, as they are all in the same folder. So the first type of analysis that we want to do relates to the building mass. We have to turn masses on, even if it's temporarily, by clicking on the Massing and Site tab and the Show Mass tool. Right click and zoom to fit. From the Analyze tab, we can see that we can use the conceptual mass mode Clicking on Enable Energy Model converts the mass model into one that can be used for energy analysis. Highlighting the mass, we can see some of its properties. In addition to this, back on the Analyze tab, we can take a look at the energy settings, such as the building type, its location, what information needs to be exported, whether spaces or rooms, the building service for heating and cooling, the building construction methods, and whether glazing is shaded or not. In this instance, where we are performing analysis on the mass model, we can enable the conceptual constructions. So for a mass exterior wall, we can specify the actual construction methods for the majority of the building constructions. Click on OK to finish. Once this is completed, we can see the window shading that we activated. From here, we can run an energy simulation. This is only available if you are a subscription customer to Autodesk, and it uses Autodesk Green Building Studio for the simulation. Click on Run, and we get the option to either create a new report or use an existing one. Click on Continue. Clicking on Results and Compare, we can see that Revit is passing this information to the Autodesk Cloud and performing the analysis. Once complete, the analysis is ready to be viewed. Another method for performing this analysis is to use the Building Element Mode. This functionality is new to Revit MEP 2014. We can select the energy settings as before and run the energy simulation. Running this though does require considerable processing power. The energy analytical model needs to be created and it may take considerable time. This of course depends on the complexity of your project. Once the process is complete and the energy analytical model has been created, we can click on OK and then run the energy simulation. At this point in time, there's no way to view this energy simulation from within Revit, although we can, from the application button, export to GBXML so we can complete some validation calculations in other software packages.